In this video, we're going to look at how to train a custom fine-tuned model of your own with OpenR AI. You see that we actually have four types of model that we can fine-tune. There's style, character, face, and object. If you're about to train your first model and you're still trying to get the hang of it, I highly recommend this model training book. This book is brought to you by some brilliant authors, including the co-founder of OpenR. We're going to start by introducing the style model. I'm going to show you how to make your own illustration style. So once you have this model trained, you can generate any illustration to embed in your article or um, your presentations, make work or school a little bit more fun. There are only three tips that you have to keep in mind. The first one is quantity. With OpenR, you can upload four to 128 images. So make sure that if you could max out the number of images you could upload. The second thing is consistency. There should be a common theme to the images that you upload so your model isn't confused. The third thing to keep in mind is variety wins. We want to tell the model how the style should look like with different subjects. So we want to have people, we want to have animals if you need them, and we want to have objects. This is highly dependent on what you're trying to create after your model is trained. Make sure to try to include them in the training images. I'm on the site Icons 8 and I found this illustration style that I kind of like. Now if I make my model learn the style, I'll be able to prompt my model and create anything that I want in this style. I've downloaded a variety of images and now I've uploaded about 70 images and let's start the training and make sure you select the type of model to be style Now the model has started training it's going to take a few minutes Usually I would go do something else and when I'm back the model will be trained and ready to use The model has finished training with this example I actually encountered a very common issue with the Laura model especially with style with the images uploaded it didn't completely capture the common theme that I'm trying to give it, which is um, black and white. To account for that issue, either I need to upload even more images or in my prompting, I can add a little bit of the theme that I'm looking for. When I generate things, I'm going to try to keep this unchanged or even add a little bit more depending on the results that I'm getting. And I'm only going to change this part of the prompt. Once I start prompting the theme better, I'm getting much closer to what I want. We can also look at man tapping on the laptop. Here's a kind of funny two people arguing, two people co-working. I quite like this one. Man walking with a folder. As another example, I did one with a little bit of a color palette in this given style. It's kind of like a cozy tone, but also work themed. And let's see what we got here. Two people co-working, girl holding a coffee mug, two people arguing, man walking with a folder. This one's interesting, I tried to generate girl gets an idea light bulb. It's pretty good. I really like the, the luminance here. Now let's look at generating a good character model. The most important thing to highlight is to have a variety of poses and angles. This is very important for a character because we want to capture the features from all angles. So the model kind of builds a three-dimensional knowledge around this character. This is an anime character that I created. I'm going to name her Akane. So Akane here, I can put her in... Uh, practically any clothing or settings that I like and here's how we can do it we're going to choose character and I'm going to name the model fire girl here I'm going to upload a pictures of Akane let's take a look at the pictures that I chose together this is not a lot of pictures but we're already getting really good results the key is to make sure that the character looks consistent and these ones are actually generated on open art too if you struggle to generate consistent characters here's a video on how to do it with open art and let's hit it now guys here's akane powered by open art let's see a few highlights if you've created your character by drawing or uh, rendering elsewhere you could upload those images and make it a fine-tuned model or 
if you are trying to generate a character from ground up, check out this other video that gives you great tips on generating a consistent character from scratch.